Kia ora Year 11, 12 and 13. This is a question from one of our tutorial sessions this year that I wanted to YouTube because it's a nice wee simultaneous equations problem. And it's one where there's an easy way to do it, but I'm going to show you the way that works even if you don't spot the cool thing to do. So if you're watching this and you find this question really easy, that's really good. I'm really happy for you, but that's not how I'm going to work first of all. So suppose that you just have a look at these three equations in yellow and see that you've got x, y and z. You might immediately think that we're probably going to use the sum of two cubes in here. So to factorise the sum of two cubes, we're going to use the acronym SOAP. And this is what we get. Same sign as here, opposite, always positive. Right, so it turns out we do use that later on. And there's another one that we're going to use in here if I do it the clunky way, which is this. If I've got A plus B plus C squared, that equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times all of the pairs. So 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. And if you don't believe me, you should expand that out and figure that out for yourself. So that comes in handy when I do this the slow and clunky way. Let's just take a look at how we can start off if we don't see something to do. Well, we can try and reduce things down to being in terms of two variables. So let's look at the top two equations and rewrite them with z over on the other side. So we get x plus y is equal to 1 plus z, and then we get x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 plus z squared minus 2xy. But it's pretty easy to rewrite this first equation um, and eliminate z from that using substitution. So what is z? Well z is equal to x plus y minus 1, so z squared is equal to this. Now using the result with the a, b and c that I just gave you, we can expand that out and we get this. x squared plus y squared plus 1 plus 2xy minus 2x minus 2y. Right, so that's a z squared. I'm going to take z squared and I'm going to chuck it in to that term there. Right, so that's what I want you to do now. Pause the video and go as far as you can, but please keep watching because I am going to show you the smart way to do this question at the end. So we get x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 plus all of that And then don't forget that on the end of that, we have to subtract off the 2xy. And that's why we should be feeling happy, because we can see stuff is disappearing. So we get x squared plus y squared is equal to 6 plus x squared plus y squared, which is good. These go, and I'm left with minus 2x minus 2y. So what have we got left? Well, we've got 2x plus 2y is equal to 6 which is fabulous because x plus y is then equal to 3. So now we should feel like we're getting somewhere in the question. What do I know about x plus y and z? Well, back up here in equation 1, I've got x plus y is equal to 1 plus z. So 3 is equal to 1 plus z, and we've now got z is equal to 2. So what can I do next? Well, if you look back at the questions, we can start substituting in for z in here. All right, so wherever I've got z, I can now replace that with 2. So that's what we're going to do now with those two equations. And then we're going to try and solve those two equations in two variables. And again, I'm going to do this the way that I do it if I'm not having any great flashes of insight, which is usually what happens to me. So what do we have in equation 2? Well, we've got x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 plus 4 minus 2xy, giving me x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to 9, or x plus y squared is equal to 3. Well, that's very useless because we knew that already. So let's move on to the next one. Now we've got x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 43 plus z cubed, 8, minus 3xy, giving me x cubed plus y cubed is 51, minus 3xy. 
So when you see this, as soon as you see this, you should be thinking, okay, this is cool because I can factorize that really easily. I get x plus y into x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to 51 minus 3xy. We know that this is 3, so we have x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to 17 minus xy. x squared plus y squared, uh, what have I got? x squared plus y squared minus xy equals 17 minus xy. Why did I write that out again like that? I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I was going to do a perfect square on this. So x plus y we know is 3. So that's minus xy minus 2xy is equal to 17 minus xy. I am being so dopey. I need to cross these out because I don't need those. So now we've got 3 squared minus 2xy is equal to 17. That gives me negative 2xy is equal to 8, or xy is equal to negative 4. But we can substitute in, we know that x plus y is equal to 3, so we're nearly there, just a little bit more algebra. Um, which way did I go? x is equal to 3 minus y. So 3 minus y times y is negative 4. 3y minus y squared equals negative 4. We've got a really nice easy quadratic. So y squared minus 3y minus 4 equals 0. Factorizing that gives me y minus 4 or y plus 1, which is 0. Leaving me with y equals 4 or y equals negative 1. So x is equal to, well they have to add to 3, so x must equal negative 1. Or here, x is equal to 4. And in both cases, z is equal to 2. So we've got two solutions. Negative 1, 4, 2. Or 4, negative 1, 2. Right, so if you're still watching after 7 minutes, congratulations. I want to go right back to the top and look at the smart way to do this. That skips a whole lot of work. Now, we still end up with some work, obviously, because, you know, it's a scholarship calc question. But look at that second equation now. And... Just have a look at what I could have done with that with looking for perfect squares. All right, so we jumped in and we saw this. We saw a difference of a, a sum of two cubes. But what we should have spotted, and which we did in the tutorial, was this, the minus 2xy here with this. Now that makes life so much better. So that second equation we can rewrite like this. x plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to 5 plus z squared. I'm not going to redo the whole question, but that gives me straight away x plus y squared is equal to 5 plus z squared. Um, and from the first equation, we've got x plus y is equal to 1 plus z. So we have 1 plus z squared is 5 plus z squared. It's just a much faster way to get to z. So we get 1 plus 2z plus z squared is equal to 5 plus z squared, which leads me to z is equal to 2, right? So much faster than the clunky way that I did it. Okay, if you've got any special questions that you want done, um, send me an email and I'll have a go. There are a couple of questions in the 2017 paper that I think were really, really horrible. Um, so, you know, don't freak out if you're looking at this one and you can't do it. The one that I'm thinking of is the sequences question at the end. I think I probably would have got stuck on, and also the um, differential equation thing with the force and the acceleration. So I'm not videoing those, because I think I'm going to go way over 15 minutes. Um, but if you've got other requests, just send them in by email, and I'll see if I can manage to do it. Thanks very much.